Hello there students, this is your advanced geography class. In advanced geography, we have already started chapter number one, that is weather and climate. In this chapter, we have already learned about weather and climate. We have learned about the elements of weather and climate and we have learned about the factors of weather and climate. Dear students, in today's class, we will learn about types of climate. All of you must know that the climate of the earth is not same everywhere. Somewhere it is too hot, somewhere it is cold, somewhere it is dry and somewhere it is wet. Like this, the climate of earth is divided into 12 major types. The types being equatorial climate, monsoon climate, savanna climate, hot desert climate, temperate desert climate, Mediterranean climate, temperate humid climate, temperate grassland climate, temperate maritime climate, humid east coast climate, subpolar climate and tundra climate. Now there is this question, why there are these different type of climate all around the earth? The major reason is shown in the picture. See, the sun rays are falling directly on the equator, right? I have already told you about this in the classroom, right? The sun rays are falling directly to the equator. That is why temperature of equator is more. Now, if you look at the poles, the sun rays are falling obliquely, that is with an angle. That is why as we go from equator to the poles, the temperature gradually decreases. And this is one of the major reasons why there are these different type of climates all around the earth. Dear yeah, students, now before we learn about the various type of climates on earth, we have to understand the concept of latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude are imaginary lines which are used to give an address to any particular location of the earth. What type of address? You must have seen addresses like 36 degree north, 27 degree east, right? This type of location are given by the use of latitude and longitude. Now you can see in this compass, all of you have seen this compass and know about this compass, right? In any map, top is north bottom is south, left is west and right is east. The lines that passes from east to west are known as latitude and the lines that passes from north to south are known as longitude. In simpler words, the lines that are vertical is known as longitude and the lines that are horizontal are known as latitude. Now let us learn some important points about lines of latitude. Now you see equator is also a line of latitude. It is the zero degree line of latitude. Now point number one is there are they are the imaginary lines from east to west around the earth. They are moving from east to west, right? They are horizontal. Lines are parallel to each other and circular. The lines of latitude are parallel to each other everywhere and they are circular. There are 180 lines of latitude apart from the equator. If you exclude the equator, there are 180 lines of latitude. That means 90 lines above the equator and 90 lines below the equator. And each line denotes 1 degree. The distance between two latitude is always equal. And the distance between two latitude is always equal because they are parallel. Now. This is an important point, remember this, that the lines of latitude divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Remember this, lines of latitude runs from east to west and it divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Now students, let's learn about lines of longitude. Number one is, these are imaginary lines from north to south around the earth. Earlier you see lines of latitude used to pass from east to west, they were horizontal but lines of longitude passes from north to south and these are vertical lines. Number two is the lines meet at the poles. The lines of latitude earlier were parallel to each other and they never meet. 
but lines of longitude all meet at both the poles at both the poles lines of longitude meet number 3 it it divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere lines of latitude is to divide the earth into northern and southern hemisphere and lines of longitude divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere number 4 is it is known as meridians lines of longitude are also known as meridians of longitude on the other hand lines of latitude are also known as parallel of latitudes because line of latitudes are parallel number 5 is zero degree longitude is called prime meridian the zero degree longitude line is known as prime meridian now students let's learn about the equatorial climate first of all distribution number 1 latitudinal extension 0 degree to 10 degree north and south of latitude now which is the 0 degree of latitude 0 degree of latitude is the equator you can see here in this picture now 10 degree above the equator above the equator is north and 10 degree below the equator below the equator is south 10 degree above equator and 10 degree below equator is the equatorial climatic zone this whatever portion is inside the red marking is the equatorial zone now number two is north northern australia new Guinea, indonesia malaysia congo and amazon basin these are the places which falls under the equatorial climatic zone now see all these places the congo basin of africa amazon basin of south america indonesia and malaysian islands all falls under this 10 degree north and south of the equatorial line that is zero degree latitude right and these places falls under the equatorial climatic zone there are students now let's learn about the climate of the equatorial zone number one is temperature is uniform throughout the year in equatorial climatic zone temperature doesn't changes much throughout the year it is about 26 degrees centigrade throughout the year in places like ours india is in monsoonal region in india temperature in summer and winter is very different right but in equatorial region temperature almost remains the same at an average of 26 degree centigrade number two is it receives convectional type of rainfall that means the type of rainfall that happens in equatorial zone is convectional type now what is convectional type of rainfall i have already discussed about this in the class right type of rainfall which happens due to the heat of the sun what happens condensation evaporation happens right after evaporation happens that water vapor condenses and falls down as precipitation this is known as convectional type of rainfall number three is heavy rainfall of more than 200 cm annually 200 centimeter of rainfall happens annually that is a huge amount of rainfall that happens in the equatorial zone it receives huge amount of rainfall number four is no change of season as i have already told you the temperature in the equatorial region is almost same all throughout the year that is why there is no change of season like in our place there are four type of season right summer autumn winter spring four seasons right but in equatorial region the season doesn't change it remains same all throughout the year now students let's learn about some other characteristics of equatorial climatic region number one is there are dense and evergreen forests dense money kono now see in this picture the below one how dense the forest is it is said that the forest in equatorial climatic region are so dense that sunlight don't even reach the ground and that is why all these trees are in constant competition to grow as tall as they can grow because the taller they can grow the more sunlight they can get and evergreen evergreen means those trees which never shed their leaves number two is biodiversity is high in equatorial climatic region various type of animals are found 
it means biodiversity means there are different type of lives diversity of bio life is more there are many animals that are found in the equatorial climatic region you can see in this picture number three is that not suitable for human habitation though biodiversity is very high in the equatorial region it is not suitable for human habitation very few amount of people live in the equatorial climatic region and the people who live in the equatorial climatic region i'm not talking about all the regions countries like malaysia indonesia there are population but most of the equatorial region the population is very less you can see the people who lives in the equatorial climatic region are those which are the tribal peoples and there are they are hunters and gatherers they don't do agriculture they live their life by hunting and gathering food dear students that is it for today in the next class we will learn about monsoonal climate till then thank you and goodbye